Hi YouTube viewers. In this video we are going to learn about systems of fruit tree planting. These are different system of planting that can be followed in planting of fruit trees. A square system, rectangular system, diagonal or quintal system, triangular system, equilateral triangular or hexagonal system, contour system, freestyle system. So now let us discuss one by one about all these planting systems of fruit trees. Square system. This is common system. Easy to draw layout of the system. This system is suitable for planes. Equal distance from plant to plant and row to row is maintained in this system. Equal space to each fruit plant is available in this system. Planting at each corner of the squares. Here you can see in the pictures. This is your square and at each corner of the square one plant is planted. The space at the center of the square remains unutilized. This is the disadvantage of this system. Here you can say this is the center of the square and this space is remain unutilized. Plant accommodation. Total number of plants can be calculated by following formula. Simply, total number of plants is equal to area of the lands and that is divided by plant to plant distance and then multiplied by row to row distance. Rectangular system. In this system, row to row distance is more than the plant to plant distance. Here you can have a look in this figure, these are the rows, the distance between rows is more than the distance between plant. The planting is done at each corner of the rectangle. This is your rectangle and planting is done at each corner of rectangle. A greater loss of income in case of no practice of intercropping is disadvantage of this system. If intercropping is not adapted to utilize this space by the farmers, then there is a greater loss of income and if the intercropping is adapted, then this space can be utilized for generating the additional income to compensate the loss of income. Total number of plants, plants accommodation can be calculated by this formula. Area of the land divided by plant to plant distance multiplied by row to row distance. Next one is diagonal or quintal system. This system is developed to utilize the space between four trees that remains unutilized in the square system. Here you can have a look that this is square. In square systems only four plants are planted at all four corners of the squares and the center space remains unutilized. But in case of quincan systems one plant is planted at center of the square so by planting this plant, the space is utilized for generating the income. An additional plant is planted at the center of the square. This is additional plant. Filler crop is called secondary or supplementary fruit crop. The plant that is planted at the center of the square, this is called a filler crop. And the plant that is planted at the four corner of the square that is called a main crop. So filler crop is called secondary or supplementary fruit crop in the system. The income is increased. The acute competition between primary and filler fruit crops. 
So these are the primary fruits and in, in the center, at the center this is your uh, filler crop. So competition is more for nutrients, for water, for air between this filler crop and the main crop. That is the drawback of this system. Plant accommodation in diagonal or conical system. The plant accommodation can be calculated by this formula. Total number of plants is equal to area of land divided by plant to plant distance into row to row distance multiplied by 2. By this formula, you can have a look that diagonal or quincan system accommodate just double number of plants accommodated in the square system. Next one is triangular system. This system is similar to the square system except the trees in the alternate rows are planted in the middle of the two corner of the square. In this figure, this is your square, this is first row and this one is the alternate row. So one plant is planted at two corners of this square in the first row and in this alternate row instead of planting the plant at these corners of the square this is planted in the middle of the two corner this is two corner and this is the middle of the corner and this plant is planted at the middle of the corner so by planting this plant you can say the triangular is far if you join these two plants by this row and these two plants by this row then this is a triangular that is far that is why this system is called triangular system thus trees are planted at the corners of the triangular whose base and altitudes are kept equal in length here the important thing is this is the triangular and the plant is planted at all three corners of the triangular and the base this one is the base of the triangular so the length of the base and the altitude this is the altitude of the corners are kept equals or in other words you can say the best base of the triangulars and altitudes of the triangulars are remains equal in the triangular system of the planting and this distinguishes it from the hexagonal system of the planting. Once corner of such six isosceles triangles meeting at the same point to form a hexagon. Here if these, this is the corners of the triangles, they are meeting at one point at the center, so hexagon is formed. This is your hexagon that is formed by these isosceles triangles. This is called isosceles triangles because base and altitudes are equal. All six sides and angles are not equal in length and degree respectively. So the all six sides of the hexagons, these hexagons and angles, they are not equal in these systems. Whereas in the hexagonal systems, all these six sides are remains equal and all the six angles of the hexagons, they are also remains equal. The distance between rows and trees remains same. So the distance between rows just like a square and the trees, they remains same. The accommodation of plants is slightly lesser than the square system. In this triangular systems, the accommodation of plants is lesser rather than the square systems. So that may be a region of loss of income if farmers adapt 
triangular system over square system of fruit planting. Next one is the equilateral, triangular or hexagonal system. In this system, plants are planted at the corners of triangles have all sides equal in length. In this hexagonal system, the triangles is formed. But in the triangles, all three sides of the triangles, they remain equal in size. Means the length of the all three sides of the triangles, they are equal. The one corner of six equilateral triangles meets at a point and forms hexagons. This is the corner. So one corner of these triangles, they meet at a point at the centers and forms a hexagons. You can count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 triangles and the one point is meeting at the centers and the forming this ever hexagons. All six sides and angles are equal in length and degree respectively. Contrary to the triangular system, in this hexagonal or equilateral triangular systems, the all the sides of the hexagons, they are equal in length as well as the all the angles, six angles of the hexagons, they are also remains equal in the degree. The six plants are planted at the six corners and seventh at the middle point of the hexagons. Here, if I will look that all six plants are planted at the six corners of the hexagons and one at the center of the hexagon. The plant's accommodation can be calculated in this system. The one important thing is that the 15% more tree could be accommodated in the hexagon system than square system if distance between rows and trees remains equal. So if the distance between rows and trees remains equal means in other words if the square system is adapted so 15% more plant is accommodated in this hexagonal system than square systems that is a benefit to the farmers. The accommodation of plant can be calculated by this formula total number of plants is equal to area of the lands divided by area occupied by single plants. You can calculate the area occupied by single plant by this formula 3 fourth into a square into 2 where a stands for length of a side of triangle or spacing between plants. Contour system. This system is suitable for planting of fruit plants on hilly and slopes topography. In other words, you can say the system is fit for planting the fruit plants in hilly areas. System minimizes the soil erosion. The contour is an imaginary line connecting the points of equal height on a slope. A imaginary line that is called a contour in this figure you can see these are the contour lines. And the planting is done at this contour lines. The plants are planted on the bench trace prepared on the contour. So first imaginary line that is a contour line is prepared and traces is formed and the planting is done on these traces. Accommodation of total number of plants can be calculated by following formula. In this formula, N stands for number of hedges, D for distance between plants, H distance between hedges, and V vertical distance between rows. The double head systems accommodate about 22% more plants in contour system than single head system. Free style of planting, free style system. Fruit plants are planted without following any regular geometrical layout designs. No design is followed. System is followed to plant the fruit plants on homestead lands, 
पब्लिक बिल्डिंग्स कंपाउंड्स वेस्ट लैंड्स रेवाइंस एलॉन्ग रेलवे ट्रैक्स रिवर एरियाज कोस्टल एरियाज फैक्ट्रीज एट्सेट्रा थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो फॉर मोर डिटेल्स विजिट फ्री ऑनलाइन हार्टिकल्चर अकेडमी एट डब्लू डब्लू डॉट एग्री हार्टी एजुकेशन डॉट कॉम